no cada pedido de dólares de las dulces de las
Hello, good evening, my friends. And we're waiting for the others. Estamos esperando el resto que ya se va a conectar. I know some of you have been kind of um, busy. Sé que han estado pues trabajando ocupados. So let's see what do we have here. Vamos a ver. Si avanzamos un poco. Well, my friends, uh, let's see if we start uh, saying hi, Gustavo. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Okay, nice to see you again, my friends. Here we have uh, also Guillermo, I guess he's there. Um, Daniel, I don't know if John is available. Um, well, Rosalie. So we're going to start with some of you that you are here now. And well, the topic for tonight is uh, use of idioms part number two. Uh, we started this, let me see, on Tuesday. Tuesday we were studying idioms, but now we're going to study 
profoundly checking some other checking some other uh, phrases that are really common in English. Okay. Uh, we are finishing now unit number three. Okay. It means that after this class, we have just five more classes tomorrow, Friday, and then from Monday to Thursday. Well, that's the plan. The plan is to finish on Thursday, next Thursday. Okay. So let's have a good feeling about this because we are in the final part of this module. Well, um, we're going to text here in the chat a uh, favorite toy from childhood, okay? Write uh, the, a toy that you used to, to play with. It can be with your friends. If it, it was Marvel's, no, it is. It was a doll. If it's a muñeca, if a action figure, a uh, kite, if it's a pispucha, I don't know. There are some other uh, aspects. Say so like one, two, three, or four. But if you want, you can select just one favorite toy, and then we start by talking about this. Okay. I'm going to wait in the chat for your answers. Okay, let's listen to some of your answers. Practically, we have here. Rosalie, hello, good evening. I don't know if you're available. So I still definitely say no, this person, later. Barbie doll says Rosalie, good. Evelyn says my father, well, that's really good. I guess that's the best. Guillermo says action figure. Uh, Rivas Thundercat. Ah, uh, hello. Everything okay, Rosalie? Okay. Casi no le escucho por la lluvia. Okay, no problem. Relax. Entonces después participas. Tú tranquila, okay? No problem. And Rivas says Thundercat swore figure. Yeah. Nice, Rivas. I the had best it. serie, teacher. The best yeah. serie. I had that too. Yo también tuve ese. Yeah, that Thundercats yes, sword. Teacher. That was the best. Yeah, Leo no uh, sword. Chitara. Pantro, yeah, of course. And even Thundercats uh, creators were the same as Silverhawks. Do you remember Silverhawks? Mm, yes, teacher. Yeah, it, it is like the same producer was the same mm -hmm. producer 
So that's why Silverhawks was a very nice series too. Two but Thundercat, series. yeah, but Thundercat, yeah, is the best. Good. Both teachers, both. Yeah, well, both. And then here we have, yeah, the Galactic Hawks, Thundercat says, John, yeah, we were talking about this. Uh, yeah. And even the, the intro is still really nice. La intro, la música, perfect. Okay, Daniel, my favorite toy when I was kid was were cars. Yeah, of course, I guess all of us had that opportunity to play with cars, okay, or try to build one. Casi siempre uno intenta construir. Um, David, I don't know if David is available. Well, he's a listener. Um, who else? Well, I guess that's it. Well, thank you for your answers. We're going to talk about this later. Um. I don't know if you had what happened with those toys because it is very common that we give those toys or they they get lost or se pierden or different things. Okay. So um we're going to check common idioms. Okay. Here we have this in pouch. Okay. A uh, bit around the bush. Better late than never. Break a leg, call it a day, easy does it, get out of hand, hang in there, let one of the book, miss the boat, make a long story short, no pain no gain. Uh, this one, no pain no gain, it is very common for, for gyms. Okay, people who like to work out or people who like to uh, do exercise. It is very common that no pain, no gain uh, idiom. Okay, I'm going to repeat. In touch, beat around the bush, better late than never, break a leg, call it a day, easy does it, get out of hand or get out of hand. Hang in there. Let one of the book um, miss the boat. Make a long story short. No pain, no gain. Okay. I'm going to call you one by one because I need you. Well, I need to check the attendance list. So for this one, I. Uh, I need you to say hi, hello, good evening. And then please say one of these phrases that I'm going to present in a moment. I'm going to present in a moment. Okay, um, let's see. We have here. Okay, Adi, not here, right? Christy, I don't know if Christy is here. If not, we go with Luisa. Okay, not Luisa. Andre, I don't know. Well, if not, we start with Rivas. Okay, Rivas. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good it's evening. too late. Thank you. Um, let's see. What about Daniel? Hi, hello. Good evening. No pain, no gain. Perfect. Uh, David, I guess he's listener. Hello, teacher. Uh, okay. I will be listening while I get home. Okay, no uh, problem. Let me know when you're break, break, break a leg. Perfect. Thank you very much, David. And Evelyn, I don't know if Evelyn is there. Hi. No pain, no gain. Thank you. Okay, Guillermo. Present, teacher. Beat around the bush. 
Good. Okay. Uh, John, I don't know if John is available. Here, here I am. Um, Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Um, Hi. I should. Um, let me see. Slow down. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Katia. Hi. Good evening. Hello, Katia. Everything okay, Katia? Um. So so. <laughs> okay. Uh, no pain, no gain. Thank you, Maritza. I don't know if Maritza is here. Present. Hello, Maritza. Hello. Uh, in touch. Good, thank you. And Gustavo? Hi, hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, make a long story short. Mm -hmm. Make a long story. Okay, thank you, Oscar, Daniel, I don't know. Uh, Eduardo? Not here by the moment. Rosalie, eh, sé que tiene lluvia, ¿verdad? Good evening. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Rosalie. Easy does, easy does it. Okay, thank you. Okay, my friends. So, here we have, these are common idioms. Thank you, Rosalie, ya te noté. These, okay, look at this. These are idioms. But this one, el resto son es la es el significado, ¿ok? Este es el significado. Los idioms son esos. Entonces, lo que normalmente de lo que normalmente se trata el, la frase idiomática es que is that you use few words to express more words. O sea, utilizas pocas palabras para expresar más palabras. Ejemplo. Uh, make a long story short, tell something briefly, no pain, no gain. You have to work for what you want, okay? Um, here we have in touch, it means in contact or in communications. But I know that you, I guess you have identified some, some ones, for, for example, in touch, break a leg as something that I, I told you on Tuesday. Miss the boat, it is like logical. Llegar tarde, okay, no pain, no gain. So, yeah, you have an idea about it, okay? Well, let's move here and the last time. La vez pasada, the last time, we were uh, talking about phrasal verbs. ¿Se recuerdan que estábamos hablando de phrasal verbs? Okay. So, um, in this case, here we have. Todos esos phrasal verbs es el tema de ayer. Vamos a tener el tema de ayer para seguir con los idioms ahora. These phrasal verbs, eh, normalmente, bueno, todos terminan con la palabra up, que se pronuncia up. Por ejemplo, add up to add numbers. Call up, contact someone by telephone. Clean up. It's to clean. Cut up, put into many pieces. Fill up to fill to the top. Get up, stand up. Okay, or get around of bed. Give up, stop trying to do something. Grow up to become an adult. Crecer, grow up. Give up, darse por vencido. Hang up to end a telephone conversation. Hurry up to do something quickly. Cuando le dicen apurate, hurry up. Make up to say something not true. Algo que no es verdad. También se le dice make up al maquillaje. Extraño. And show up es llegar. Okay. You have this picture. Oh, well, this picture, because uh, we were studying this um, yesterday. I la enviaron dos veces. So what I need you to, to have is this. La que necesito que tengan es esta. Okay. Maybe we can have some screenshots 
Eh, Maritza, maybe you can help me and then we're going to complete it. When we come back, cuando regresemos, eh, la vamos a completar entre todos, but by the moment we're going to work in pairs, vamos a trabajar en equipos, and we finish this um, topic. Vamos a terminar este tema. Okay? So I will appreciate Recuerden que ahí tenemos el significado. Ok, sí, en un momento, my friends. Y después eh, lo resolvemos en conjunto. Okay, John, I need you to accept the request. Please, Christy, as well, necesito que acepten la solicitud. Thank you.
So let's see, my friends, what you have here. I know that you have completed these exercises. Sé que ya completaron estos ejercicios, pero vamos a ver. We have some options. Number one says, my classmate was late. He finally showed up at 10 o'clock. Okay. So let's see what, you can raise your hand. You can say, teacher, I, I want to complete this. Or you can raise your hand or tell me what number. Okay. Maybe we can start uh, this with Katia. I don't know if Katia is available. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, tell me. Uh, the number two, cut up. Okay. Could you read your the complete sentence, please? Okay, let's cut up some vegetables and make a salad. Thank you. Okay, let's go with Gustavo and Maritza. Okay, teacher, the number three. Mm -hmm. uh, my little my little brother likes to make up make up a story about the space aliens. Okay. Space aliens. Nice. Thank you, Maritza. And then we go with Rosalie. Number four. You should clean up your room. It's very messy. Okay, thank you. Okay, messy significa desordenado. Okay, bien extraño, va como messy, but messy, I don't know. Well, um, let's listen to Rosalie and then Daniel. Number five. Okay. I need to adapt the numbers but i made a mistake okay thank you okay daniel and after daniel we are going to listen to john the number six i went to bed late so it was difficult to get up early this morning Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay, John, are you there? And then okay. Guillermo. And number, let me see. Number, number, number eight. We should buy up the car with gas before we drive to Florida. Okay, yeah. Fill up. Okay, thank you. Hey, we go with Guillermo and then um, Rivas. Okay, Guillermo, you have okay, one? Teacher, uh, number, wait, okay, number seven. Tommy wants to be an astronaut when he grow up. Yeah. When he grow up. Thank you. Uh, Rivas, are you there? Number 11, teacher. I tried to call up my friend, but he didn't answer the phone. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Okay, Oscar, Daniel, I don't know if you have anyone. Tienes alguna, Oscar, Daniel? I don't know if you have one of these. Okay. Hace poco me pude conectar, eh, teacher. No, okay. no, no he pensado en una todavía. Okay, no problem. Let's uh, listen to Evelyn. Tienes alguna, Evelyn? Uh, please, uh, number, number 10. Uh huh. Please call the phone when you finish your call. Okay. Please. Uh, what did you say? Call up. Call up. Yes. Okay. Let me check. Hang up. Okay. 
Thank you. Maybe we can have Maritza with some other nine or 12. 12. Sam didn't keep up. He continued and he won the race. The race. Give up. Okay, thank you. And maybe we can have in this case um maybe Guillermo number nine. Okay, teacher. Let me see number nine. Try to hurry up. Eduardo, you are taking too much time. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you, my friends. So as you notice, it is not that difficult to use idioms in here because uh, some of them are kind of logical. Some other are like very different in comparison what, uh, well, with the meaning. But anyway, you did it, but really good. So now we're going to have... um. We're going to read. Vamos a leer un poco. I'm going to mark the lines that I need you to read. So we can have the opportunity to read every, every one of you, of you. Read the following tips on how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. Okay. So how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. Okay. Number one, step one, get the right people on board. Get the right people on board. Okay, I'm going to show you, lo voy a mostrar aquí, este, qué partes van a leer. Eh, Gustavo, you're going to read number one, and then Maritza, but let me show you. To here, and Maritza to here. Okay, Gustavo, please, could you start before? Okay, teacher. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintainer plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Thank you. Okay, Maritza and then Katia. Include top management, maintenance manager, maintenance technician, and any other staff who understand the way your system operates. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Then we go with Katia and after Katia, Rosalie. Okay. Okay. This could. Okay. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. Perfect. Uh, Rosalie and then Daniel, you may not need. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process. But it's important to have them on board and get caught up to date so you can get important feedback as to go. Yeah, important feedback. That's, that's very important, okay? So, well, that's number one. Get the right people on board. So, people with knowledge, with experience, uh, people uh, who can solve problems or difficulties. We go with the step number two, and with the step number two says this. And set the goals for your preventive maintenance plans. Set the goals for your preventive maintenance plans. Okay, let's listen to Daniel and then Rivas. Okay, Daniel, please, using your task. Using your task forces input, set goals your hope to achieve using the system. 
begin training your task force on the computer skill they'll need when you provide preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. So that's important to set the goals. Okay. And and let's num let's see number three. Inventory the equipment and assets. Inventory the equipment and assets. Let's go with Rivas. And after Rivas, we go with Guillermo. But I'm going to show you what part you're going to read. Okay, Rivas, you're going to go from the beginning to this part. And then we go with Guillermo. Please, Rivas, go through. So go through your facilities and inventory and the equipment you are considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan, tying the equipment as you go. Thank you. Guillermo, create a list. Of okay, all teacher. Sets. Create uh, a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go and keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you very much. So practically here we have like as a feedback, okay? Three steps, get the right people on board, set goals for your preventive maintenance plans, and three, inventory, equipment, and assets. Okay, let's listen to some of these questions. We're, well, not questions, but some sentences. We, we have to say, yes, it's true or not, it's false. Maybe John can help us, and then we go with Rivas. Okay, John, I don't know if you are there. Okay, sorry, sorry, teacher. No um, problem. Number one, and having the appropriate people on board is not relevant, uh, false. False, right, because they say that it is important yes. yeah, to have the right people. Thank you. Okay, Rivas, and after Rivas, we go with Maritza. It is important to include people who understand of maintenance. True. Yes, of course. People who understand from maintenance, that's very, but very important. Okay. So um, here we have true. And we go with Maritza. And then we go with Rosalie. Number four, mm -hmm. for better results, creating a list of the assets is important, true. Mm -hmm. Definitely true, thank you. Okay, we go now with, vamos a ver, Rosalie, ¿verdad? Thank you. Okay, um... bueno. In number five, the BMP software is mandatory. True. Okay, you say true, and we go with Katia. Nos ayudas con la tres, Katia. Okay, teacher. Setting goals is a uh, option. For the PMP, mm -hmm. uh, is true. I don't know. Yeah, it's true. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It's true. Now here we have the answers for these uh, sentences: true or false. Okay. And now here we have one speaking activity. Tenemos una actividad oral. Tell a favorite memory from childhood. Okay. Uh, I know you have a lot of anecdotes. You have different um, stories that you live. 
stories that you live by, we're going to select some of them. Maybe we can start this activity with Guillermo. Any special story that you remember when you were a kid? Mm. Memory from childhood. Can be something very relaxed, kind of simple, maybe one uh, routine or something that you used to do when you were a kid. Mm, well, I remember that one of my favorite uh, memory from my childhood is that I I went to train. Um, how do you say uh, natacion? Swimming, swimming, swimming. with yeah. with my brother and my cousins at the same time, and I feel that uh, that was great because I shared my time. I spend my time with them. Okay, yeah, that that's it. It is like you took advantage, right? You took advantage of that time. Okay. Thank you. Um thank you, Guillermo. Yes, yeah, swimming pool. Um that's why you, you say that you practice a lot of, of swimming, right? When you were young. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason you were to classes and spend time with some cousin. Okay, uh, maybe we can listen Maritza and then Rosalie. My favorite memory from childhood is when I was learning bike. Mm -hmm. My dad teach me when I was three years old. Ah, you were very young, three years old. Yeah. Come on, three years old, and then you were like a professional in riding mm -hmm. a bike. Wow. So you learn a uh, very quick aprendice rapido. Three years yeah. old. Come on. That what that is incredible. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, we go with Rosalie and then Rivas. Rosalie, are you available? If not, uh, you can tell me later. In my favorite memory childhood when I play, 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 mm -hmm. play. Ball, uh, with my sister okay. and we waited for my dad to come home from work because he brought uh, something. <laughs> okay, so wow, it, it is like it was that was very special when we were waiting for dad or for mom and um, they they used to have like very small gifts but can you really do something like that very simple but we were happy they, <laughs> maybe a candy some, something um for it <laughs> yeah it's especially <laughs> yeah it's better because you can enjoy it you're really happy when your dad or your mom brings something. Yeah, uh, that, that's true. Thank you, Rosalie. Okay, we go with Rivas and then we go with Daniel. Rivas, any idea? Any okay, opinion? teacher. When we play soccer in the street, yeah, I, I, and I scored the winning goal, I celebrated in a big way. <laughs> uh, nice. Um, I guess that was a that was a very common game, and it was part of a generation, a different generation. Playing yes. soccer on the street was so amazing. Was the best part of a lot of generations, right, Rivas? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Sure. And that was better in the past because in the past, or uh, well, some years ago. There were not too many cars. Había, no había tantos carros. So, because of that, you could play 
right? Yeah, there were cars, but not too many. Uh, in comparison to now, we have a lot of cars. No había internet, teacher, no había nada, celular. Yeah, no internet. So uh, at night or in the afternoon, you, you could play. Yeah, yes, amazing. Teacher. Yes, yes, definitely it is. Thank you, Rivas. Okay, uh, maybe we we'll go with Daniel and then Gustavo. Okay, um, I re I remember that when I was a child childhood, every every Friday my father come home very night, and he always brought us brought us food to have dinner together. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very different in comparison to, to talking about playing because in your case it was about a uh, spending time in family and especially because your father uh, your father used to have food so you were very happy because you were hungry yeah I can imagine good memory thank you Daniel okay uh, we go with uh, Gustavo and then Evelyn. Okay, teacher. Favorite childhood memory when we played soccer with my school mayors. I think my childhood was one of the best. We have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, similar to, to, to some other participants. In the past, there were there was no internet. Uh, yeah, there were television, but cable was for few kids. Tener cable era para poca cantidad de niños realmente. It was not common in comparison to now. Okay, yes. now you can see cartoons at night. Oh, ahora se pueden ver caricaturas en la noche en cable, right? Yeah. But in the, in the past, you well. Although adults used to watch TV, los adultos veían tele. And we, we were kids, uh, we have like free time, and maybe we could play, or maybe in school, yeah. Uh, taking advantage of the time, aprovechando el tiempo al máximo. Yes, nice, Gustavo. Okay, Evelyn. What about you, Evelyn? I remember when... My father told me to take care of my mother before he did. Okay, yeah, very nice. Taking care is so important and it's good to have that memory. Okay, what if we listen to John and Katia? Okay, John. Okay. Um, it is, <laughs> it is a, uh, it is a lovely love story. Mm -hmm. When when I was a little, um, I saw a girl okay. that that I liked very much. Um, nice. My surprise uh, was that we we um, already met in adolescence and accompanied her. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. Okay, do you remember how old were you? Um, Maybe 15? 10, 10 years old. I'm sorry? 10 years old. Oh, 10 years and you were, uh, you were looking for a girlfriend. Come on, John. Yeah. Very <laughs> no. young, very young. <laughs> It's very okay. exciting. I okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. And that was because in, in, in the past there were there were no WhatsApp, there were no cell phones. So to talk uh, to, to a girl was kind of difficult because you had to do it face to face yeah. in front of that. So you need you need to, to be brave. Now it's yeah. Ya adulto la conocí para 
para su... Yo le contaba, ¿no? Ya cuando nos acompañamos, cuando teníamos a mi hijo, le contaba que yo la pasaba siempre viendo, ¿no? Y wow. resulta que ella, ella llegó a ser mi vecina. O sea, llegó a vivir enfrente. Life. Yeah. Ya estaba la vida configurada para ti. Yeah. Yes. Very... Uh, actually, yes. It is a love story. Escribí un libro, John. Okay. <risa> o no. oh, oh, una canción al menos, eh. Ah, yeah. Siempre yeah. le canto. Eso, that's the attitude. Well, yeah. I guess that that that's so interesting and, and nice because it was from childhood, right? So yeah, that 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 is one of the reasons why it is so special your story. Thank you, John. Yeah, I like it. I I really like love stories. And I don't know if, if David is at home. Well, I guess David is uh, moving. You know, the point of cuentas, David, no problem. I know you are moving well. And let's see who else. Well, let's continue with the program. In this case, look at this. Read the definitions of these useful idioms. Okay. Um here we have wipe out. Wiped out, it means very tired. To have a lot of one's plate, to have a lot to do. Okay. Settle down. Settle down significa calmarse, calm down. Hanging there. Hanging there es como. Se paciente, hay que ser paciente. Keep one's head above water to survive. Okay. Keep one's head above water. Hay que sobrevivir. To scale back one's hours to reduce the number of hours one work. Stressed out. Okay. Under severe strain, very anxious. Sleep one's mind be forgotten okay and here we have like an activity choose three idioms from the box above and write a sentence for each word on the clause okay we're going to write two sentences using two idioms it is not necessary to use this no es necessary utilizar estos if you have some other idioms you can look in for for that in google pueden buscarlo en google si quieren utilizar otros idioms And I need you to, to write it on the chat in a sentence. Lo vamos a utilizar esa frase idiomática uh, en a sentence. Te voy a poner un ejemplo. For example, my friends and I love to hang out. This is one. Okay. Aquí tenemos hangout, significa salir a divertirse. Kick the bucket es fallecer, como patear el, ¿cómo se llama el? La cubeta. Okay. So here we have two sentences uh, with two idioms. Aquí estoy uh, pues agregando la, mis dos oraciones con dos uh, frases idiomáticas. Les voy a dar un par de segundos para que pues utilicen ustedes. Okay, you can use some other idioms. Pueden ser este, estos mismos los que están acá o pueden inventarse o no inventar sino buscar. Y hágame dos oraciones cada uno, ¿ok? I'm going to be waiting. Voy a estar esperando. Tienen que ser oraciones, no solo escribir el, la frase idiomática. Puede ser, si se dan cuenta, la, la dice my grandpa kick. Está en pasado. Kicker. No porque es kick. Es kick the book. La primera sí está en presente. Si ustedes hagan la en presente, no problem. Más práctico.
Okay, I'm waiting for the others. Estoy esperando por el resto también. Para que puedan escribir sus oraciones. Okay, let's listen to some of your uh, idioms, and we're going to start with Daniel. Please, Daniel. You need to calm down, right? Okay. You need to calm down or you will get sick. Thank you. I feel very tired, tired right now okay thank you andre could you read yours podrías leer los tuyos andre okay uh, i go learn english hurry up but english is difficult i'm so tired i'm going to hit the sack mm -hmm. perfect uh, oscar daniel please Okay, teacher. Um, I am see you wipe it up. You be patient while past the storm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Rosalie and John. I am wise out to go running. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you two settle down? Could you settle down? Single two, could you settle, settle down? Thank you. And John and Guillermo. Okay, um, number one, you should clean up your room. Mm -hmm. Number two, being patient is a virtue. Thank you. Guillermo and Maritza. Okay, uh, number one, my best friend 
uh, fields swipe out of running 10 kilometers. And number two, my mom needs to settle down. She's arguing with the policeman. Okay. Yes, that's it. Maritza and Evelyn. You can get up at six and make the breakfast. And we should whip it up the bad habit. Bad habits, of course it is. Thank you. Evelyn, could you read yours, please? My family and I cook on weekends. My mm. sister drinks a lot of water. Okay, pero harían falta los idioms, eh, Evelyn, ahí. Creo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, porque le haría falta. Uh -huh. Si no, prepáralos y después nos comentas, ¿ok? Um, let's move with what's the name of the song? A ver, si no me equivoco. Rosalie, right? Yes, teacher. Lista, ready? No. Ready, teacher. Okay, Tal excelente. Te puedo compartir. Sé que sí puedes. Okay, Rosalie, ¿todo bien? ¿Ya lo pueden ver? En este momento, sí. Ok. Ok. Eh, bueno, si sí, son... Sí, I think you don't know it, but he'll try to sing it anyway. Okay. Every morning when I wake up, I will shut up. I was living without the purpose of be topping up others than the circus in the dark with a broken compass. I can't explain the way it feels. I could throw you my own words. I made mistakes that much is clear. But I made it hear my love. They I made it hear my love. You are the one that got a car right. It's a fickle world, there's a fickle world. You turn the darkest into some light. I'm a lucky girl, they are my lucky girl. And I feel I miss everything. I will hide my head in chains. You are the one that got a cut right, 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 right. Wow, yeah. Claps for you, Rosalie. <laughs> eh, it was a recording. Que era una grabación que tenías o fue en este momento? No, en vivo, teacher. <laughs> no, because it se oía así como editada okay. no, 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 no ok uh, very interesting and interesting sound, it sounds like pop, it sounds like uh, maybe we have heard, quizás le hemos escuchado but I don't have any idea 
Um, is is a singer. My favorite, my artist, my favorite artist. <laughs> okay. Any idea the rest of the class? Si el resto de la clase tiene alguna idea, any idea? Because uh, I don't have it. Um, John, Me maybe? A cantar, no le escuché, no. lo siento. Katy, come on, no, ya, ya lo hizo Rosalí. No. Pobre sí, tita. ella se la puede, ticha. Katy, te la puedes, dice. Vaya, a ver. Si no, tú la vas a cantar. No, yo no puedo cantar. No sé si me equivoco, pero es de Shakira. Sí. Ok. ¿Cuál es el nombre de esta song? No recuerdo el nombre. Y um, I like uh, the letters um, because it's right rights for your your first son uh, for her her first song okay. yeah, for her for for her first song first song oh very nice mm -hmm. so it's with a uh, it was with love of mother mm -hmm. okay thank you <laughs> thank you Rosalie. okay would you mention uh, the words related yes. to the grammar Please. Um, every morning is adjective time of times. Um, walk up is um, the birds and past. In the same, what shock up was living without is a preposition. Always is. The uh, adjectives, the time. Jumping is verb uh, in gerundio. Gerund, uh -huh. um, do, Doing is igual gerund. Um, can, could, and is verbs models? Models verbs? Model verbs, yes. And made, made, feels, cycle, turn, and every are a birds and paths present, and everything uh, is adjective. Into prepos is preposition and el, el, el de color bird, uh, color green, green, green dark, green dark, dark green, uh -huh. dark green is um, como la forma corta de the construction. De Oh, because, yes. the because or because. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Rosalie. Well, uh, uh, we can notice that you worked a lot with this because uh, there are you use different colors. Use uh, you well. You have a good voice. You know, una, una voz bastante buena, Rosalie. Congratulations and thank you for sharing this. Thank I didn't you. know. I didn't know the name of this song but uh, I guess I'm going to listen to it. I will escuchar the first. Thank you. Rosalie, congratulations. No sería falta de ver acá. I don't know if we have Let me check. Oscar Daniel. I don't know if we have Oscar Daniel here. Yes, teacher. Eh, ¿Podrías preparar tú la canción para mañana, Oscar Daniel, please? O okay, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, Oscar Daniel comes with the song. Thank you. And we continue. 
28 minutos and terminamos and we finished, okay? Here we have one activity from the manual. Write a short paragraph about the common issues with the machinery at your workplace. Okay, um, issues, it's similar like problems. Es como decir problemas, okay? Eh, recuerden que nosotros ya medio, we eh, talked about these problems with machinery, with equipment, okay? And so you can say, for example, the printer. So we can say at least three things, three things about the equipment, okay? Um, mm -hmm. And I guess we're not going to write short paragraph because that is going to take a lot of time, va a tomar mucho tiempo. But we can write three things about the same equipment or different equipment. Puede ser acerca del mismo equipo o de diferentes, okay? I'm going to be reading your, um, your comments and then we go with another worksheet. Ahí vamos con una hoja de trabajo con, con respecto a idioms, okay? So I'm going to be checking uh, your messages. Here you have a, in the chat, the examples. And then we continue.
Okay, we're going to listen to some of your difficulties. Maybe Daniel can start, please. The cell phone is broken okay, down. The cell phone is broken down. The computer is not available. And the electric phone is turned off in the morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. We go with Maritza. Please. The and then printer John. Make, the printer makes a strange noise. The computer has a frozen screen. Thank you very much, um, John, and then Rivas. Okay, the microwave sometimes doesn't heat up. And the fire system sometimes does not work. Okay, wonderful. Rivas and Guillermo. The printer did not photocopy the documents. Enter the printer code to access its function. Good one, thank you. Guillermo and then Luisa. Okay. Um, the doors of my company sometimes uh, do not open when we pass our employee card. Okay. And the other is the computer always are very slow. Very slow. Okay. Perfect. Luisa? Okay, teacher. The printer uh, is in. There is no paper in the printer. Is the paper down? The person in town is not there. No, thank you. Okay, wonderful. Here we have this just to finish. Okay, look at this. Here we have um from one to twelve idioms. So match the idiom with its real uh meaning. Tenemos las frases idiomáticas and from A B C D until L. These are the meanings. Es el significado. Okay, so we're going to Match, vamos a unirlos y ya vamos a ir terminando la clase. Ok, seleccionen uno. Les doy un par de segundos para que le den una revisada y ya les pregunto. Rosalí, could you read your problem with the, your equipment? The ATM. Yes, can. The ATM sometimes runs out of money. The printer turns off during use when there is a low light. Okay, a low light. Thank you. Le sacan bastante a ese ATM, entonces, Rosalie. Yes. Um, all employees. <laughs> wow. And Rosalie, um, a lot of money from the ATM. <laughs> mm. Eh, um, ¿Cómo se dice que soy la, la, la que menos sa saca? <laughs> I use it the less. Lo uso menos. I use it the less. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Rosalie. Perfect. Uh, we go with Oscar, Daniel, with your uh, equipment problem. And then, Andre, Wi-Fi is not... You mentioned Wi-Fi, right, Oscar, Daniel? Okay, teacher. Uh... Read. Mm -hmm. Read your. Okay. okay. Uh, wi Fi is not available. The printer mm -hmm. has not ink. Uh, uh, the printer does not have double letter. Says paper. Paper. Thank you. Andre, could you read yours? Okay. In my work, rarely is not. Available tools for some job cards. Uh, yesterday I stuck at the screw and my co workers didn't finish his work. Okay, thank you. Thank you for all your comments. And now we're going to check these idioms. Here we have the idiom and the meaning. Okay, I need you to select one of these and 
let's move second Okay, maybe we can have oh. just give me a second. Okay, we're going to start with Daniel. Okay, tell me a number, number what? The number two. Mm -hmm. Great, I am. Blue. The number two, I'm feeling blue is the literal D, I'm sad. Yeah. Letter D, and I'm going to check it. Perfect, thank you. What about Maritza and then um, Katia? Number four, please give me a hand. A hand. Please, no. G, please help. Okay, Katia, what about you? Okay, if Katia is not available, let's listen to Rosalie and then Gustavo. And the number five. Okay. And in a pickle is na is letter. Verify is little C. Mm -hmm. I'm in trouble. Perfect. Thank you, Gustavo. And then we go with Rivas. Okay, teacher. The number A. I have, I have butter bread in my stomach. Is I am nervous. Mm -hmm. Letter F. Thank you. And Rivas, and after Rivas, we go with Guillermo. Number 10, teacher, that's a piece of K. Letter K, that's easy. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Guillermo, what about yours? And then John. Okay, let me see. Mm. Okay, number number seven. Mm -hmm. Walk a mile in my shoes is letter B. Put yourself in my place. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about John and then Luisa? Okay, John, are you there? Okay, maybe John is not available. Luisa, are you there? Okay, Luisa is not there. Maybe Christy. T-shirt, number one. Okay, let's go you with number have one. An, you have an in your pants. What do you number, think? Uh, number eight. Your wiggle, 
Andrei, you tell me. Teacher, eh, una corrección. I think the third. Eh, yo pienso que es con la J. Okay. The number, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Yes, I took for, I took more food than I can eat. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Sí. Uh, you are correct. Yeah, it's letter J. Mm -hmm. Because my eyes are bigger than my stomach. So that person, yes. a lot of food. Yeah, and the stomach, he was fed up. Thank you. I'm sorry. Letter D is, is number two. I'm feeling blue. Thank you, Andre. Okay. okay. Maritza can help us with some other. We have number nine, 11, and 12, and then Daniel. Well, I have a green tomb. Mm -hmm. I am doing very, very, I'm doing really well. Number okay. 12. I have green thumb, okay. 12. It's, okay, I guess it is letter A. I'm good at A. growing things. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you. Daniel? Um, 12, uh, la, la 11. 11. 11, 11, sorry. I am on, on top of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing really well. Mm, okay. I'm doing really well. Better oh, I. Like that thing. So, yeah. Okay. And number nine. Okay. Okay. Okay, that could it be. Yes, Oscar. Uh, number nine. Mm -hmm. Don't hit me the cold shower. Um, letter L. Don't mm -hmm. don't ignore me. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, number six. Finally, letter H. I hit the nail on the head. Yeah, I'm nervous. Okay, my friends. We can use this and well, I'm going to check the attendance list. Grace Lisa Assistencia, please say hi, hello, good evening, good night, and Gustavo, tú ya te habías quedado en la sesión uno a uno. No, teacher. Ok, te quedas ahora, please. Ok, está bien. Ok. Ok, my friends, I'm going to check the attendance list. Mm. Adi Beatriz, no, right. Triste, Ana Cristina? Yes, right. Luisa? Hello. Present, teacher. Thank you. Andre. Present okay. teacher. Thank you. Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Daniel. 
present. Good night, everyone. Thank you, David. I guess David. Present, present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, Evelyn. Hi. Present. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. Guillermo, hi. Present teacher. Okay, um, nice. John, are you there, John? Okay. And um, let's see. Uh, Katia, hi. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night, Maritza. Present. Okay. Noé, Gustavo. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar, Daniel, hi. Present teacher. Eduardo, right. no, right. Rosalind? Present in the night. Okay, good night. And Lucy. Let me just know. Muy bien, um, comentarles, uh, tell you that, eh, hoy terminamos la unidad 3, ¿verdad? Entonces, este... Es importante que eh, terminen eh, las tareas de hasta la unidad 3, ¿verdad? Hasta la tarea 15. Y los que no, pues, espero que lo terminen para mañana, en la mañana, porque si estamos atrasados. Un poquitín. Yo quiero que hagan el midterm. Hay algunos que, que hay dos personas que no lo han hecho, ¿verdad? Yo quiero que lo hagan porque si no se va pasando el tiempo y se les está acumulando más. Eh, así que ánimo, pero nos quedan cinco clases. Solo son clases. Ah. Teacher, eh, tenemos que terminarla hoy o, o lo podemos hacer mañana. Pueden hacer mañana. Mañana hay, hay tiempo todavía, ¿verdad? Eh, y otra cosa, sugiero que también eh, pueden, fin de semana, avancen en lo que eh, Para la otra semana vamos a tener las tareas de la unidad 4 y el examen final. Recuerden que ah, okay. para el juego que debe estar terminado. Pero mañana todavía tenemos tiempo, ¿verdad? Mañana. Okay. Only, only the unit number three. Sí, unidad número tres. Ajá. Y las dos personas que no han hecho el midterm por completo, ajá, háganlo, ¿verdad? Pueden hacerlo mañana, la, las tareas de, de, de la unidad tres. Aunque hoy la estamos terminando, pero tenemos todavía tiempo porque ah, podemos pasar notas. Lo que sí, ajá, sugiero es que el fin de semana empiecen a avanzar en las otras para que no se les acumule, ¿verdad? Solo estamos a cinco clases de ya tener un poco más de vacación en las noches para que puedan descansar, ¿ok? Eh, eso sería todo. Cualquier cosa, ahí me escriben y pues eh, estamos pendientes. Me quedo con Gustavo y los veo mañana. Have a good night. Pasa feliz noche. Sí, good night, night. teacher. Night. Right. Ok, Gustavo, tú me dices si hay alguna dificultad. Mm. Ok, teacher, este... Mm, lo que creo que que se me está costando un poquito, pero es cuestión como de memorizar, son los irregulares, eh, los verbos irregulares. Los verbos irregulares, sí, entiendo. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, porque pero los regulares solo les agrega GD y ya, ya, ya son pasado y pasado participio. Sí, Ajá. los... los... Ok. Este, ya tienes una lista, ¿verdad? De, de, de las, ¿cómo se llama? De, de las que yo te he dado. Eh, sí. No sé si has identificado verbos irregulares en, en algunas canciones. 
Eh, sí, sí, fíjese, eh, se, se identifican, pero este, igual este es como cuestión de memorizarlo porque este, a veces se me olvida. Entiendo, no, yo, yo, yo te entiendo, sí, realmente no es fácil. Y este, déjame ver si tengo acá. Bien, yo ya les había enviado esta lista, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, sí. Con los verbos regulares fáciles, ¿verdad? ED y ahí está. Lo que cambia, lo que cuesta un poquito con los regulares es alguna pronunciación, pero nos vamos a enfocar ahorita Ajá. en los irregulares. Vayan los irregulares. Hay algunos que necesitas ver eh, un cierto... Patrón, mira estos. Ley, 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 pay, pay, pay. ¿Te viste? Entonces, ajá. ajá. Ah, te voy a decir otros. Mm, pero, pero en el inglés, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué este son verbos irregulares? ¿Por qué son identificados como irregulares? Eh, ya están establecidos así. El hecho es que um, parte del idioma de, de, de ellos. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, así es. Entonces, ellos han construido esos, esos verbos de esa manera. Y es, hasta cierto punto, pues una complicación, ¿verdad? Pero sí, como entonces. Que ha, como que los han seccionado, ¿verdad? Verbos regulares. Sí, y, uh -huh. okay. sí. sí. Para ellos, a nosotros no cuesta, pero para ellos es muy fácil y tiene sentido. Bien extraño, ¿verdad? Porque no, no, para nosotros no es como muy lógico, ¿verdad? Y todo eso. Pero eso, entonces lo que toca es, por ejemplo, ver si hay algún patrón que podemos identificar para memorizarlos, que sea más fácil, ¿verdad? Sí. A veces hay patrones, a otras veces no tanto, ¿verdad? Sí, este, la verdad que es, trabajo mucho en eso, como tratar de memorizarlo para... Eh, me imagino que es cuestión de eso, ¿verdad? De memorizar. Sí, memorizar y practicar. Lo que sí te voy a recomendar es que busques verbos que te puedan interesar. Porque a veces cuando uno quiere memorizar verbos así por así, sí te los aprendes un momento, pero después como que se te olvida. Ajá, sí, me pasa. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso te decía que si había canciones y todo eso te va a servir bastante porque como son can... eh, palabras que van en las canciones como que a uno se le queda pero solo aprendérselos así por así sí cuesta un poquito pero bueno ah, igual, por lo menos sí uh -huh. igual este en, en YouTube hay como como unas páginas de conversaciones entre dos personas este ahí se ve bastante bastante eso uh -huh. sí puedes puede buscarlo y como te digo siempre que que tenga conversaciones, siempre que, que, que veas algo útil, te va a ayudar. Así que sí, Gustavo, yo sé que no tienes problemas con los verbos regulares, pero los irregulares, ni modo. Toca aprendérselo, ¿verdad? Eh, con las tareas, ¿cómo vas? Con la plataforma, todo bien, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, sí, ya estoy, ya terminé la, la unidad 3. Sí, muy bien, eh, para que no se te acumule. Ajá. Sí, ahorita voy cabal al día. Excelente, igual este voy, a, voy a tratar de, de avanzar ese fin de semana en, en la siguiente unidad. Yo sugiero que, que, que sí avances porque, pues, quieras o no, para que no se te acumule. Sí, ok, Gustavo. Es. Entonces, si no hay otra duda ni otra consulta, ánimo, ¿verdad? Solo nos quedan cinco clases, ¿verdad? Así que nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Good night. Pasa feliz noche. Bye bye, my friend. Yeah.